In this paper, I will teach you how to transform first and second person case into third person case. When we write for our friends and family, we can use a more casual, familiar English. So when we write to our friends and family, it's okay to use first person case I, me, my, we, our. And it's okay to use you, your. Also, if you want to sell products in advertising or make an oral presentation to make yourself more relatable as a presenter, it is okay to use first person case I, my, we, us, and second person case you, your. But when you are writing an academic paper, your audience is your teacher. And so when your audience is your teacher or your boss, you need to use third person case formal English. And so since we're going to be writing an academic paper for the teacher, then in this video I'm going to teach you how to use a more formal tone in your academic paper. So I'm going to read over the paper and I'm going to convert the first and second person case in the paper into third person case for a more professional tone. When managing time, there are a few ways to help to do so, like prioritizing tasks, be punctual, scheduling the day, and be organized. Being able to maintain all three will help a person succeed at time management and help a person, instead of you, be in control with time itself. Time is very valuable and a person should do things in a timely fashion so a person does not waste time on stuff on time that will drain their day. A person will not have time for the stuff they really need to get done. Whether a person is making time for the most important or the least important uh, stuff in life, it is good to be organized, prioritized, scheduling on point, and being um, punctual to succeed in having control over a person's time, because time is very valuable. Prioritizing. So here she did a great job in matching her topic sentences with her thesis. Prioritizing can help better manage time, uh, can help better time management due to a person being able to put in order what is most important to least. Or the least can still be important but does not need to be done this week. It is important to make sure this time sensitive material goes ahead of the day because the time on the time on that will be expiring very soon. When managing time, comma, a person does not want to miss deadlines. A person does not want to, to make them. That is why prioritizing is uh, cru crucial when planning, uh, planning their days. So to help better uh, manage their time and have, it, and have time go smoothly, uh, people need to prioritize, or a person needs to prioritize, as with scheduling uh, their tasks or asking for help. When a person schedules uh, their day, it helps them better control their time, which is key to success. The reason why, uh, the reason why is because when a person writes down electronically what they are going to do. It helps a person see what they are going to do during the day. Basically, a person is mapping their life to have better control of their time. It is also a great way for a person not to forget, not to waste time by backtracking or trying to remember what a person has planned for the day. Sometimes, comma, when a person is busy, a person can easily forget deadlines or appointments because a person never are scheduled it. A person is just hoping to remember it the day of. Doing stuff like that can be very irresponsible and can ruin a person's day 
and end up wasting lots of valuable time that a person cannot get back. Therefore, scheduling can be key for time management. And with that, a person can be punctual to have a much easier day. Remember to indent five spaces, uh, the first line of every paragraph. Punctuality is a mind of it all when it comes to controlling uh, time in a, in a person's life. With punctuality, it is important because if a person cannot, and this should be one word, cannot be on time, that will put a person behind and if eventually a person will waste plenty of time. Sometimes, comma, a person can get hiccups throughout their life that will put a person behind, but it is that person's job to try to factor in those hiccups when they are managing their time. We don't use let's, and also this paragraph is a bit long, so make sure each paragraph only has five to seven sentences. So, so um, for example, tr when you are stuck in traffic, in LA traffic, uh, oh, when a person is stuck in LA traffic, a person needs to add 30 minutes to an hour of drive time just in case highways are closed or in case of an accident. It is a person's job to factor in their hiccups so a person can make it in time for all their appointments. Also, comma, with punctuality, it shows a lot about a person's integrity. If a person, for instance, or for example, you need more transition words, so if a person were going for a job interview and showed, showed up late, it would look like a person does not care about their job and it would look very unprofessional to a potential employer who may think that a person does not care about the job. On the other hand, if you make it, if a person, see even I make the mistake of saying you, uh, on the other hand, if a person makes it to the job interview on time, even a few minutes early, it shows the boss that that person is professional and really wants the job. So with punctuality, it is highly important to make sure a person is always on time and never falls behind. The last tip in time management is organization. With organization, comma, it is the most important aspect of time management because if a person is everywhere and, and does not fully um, organize his time, there is no way a person can be stress-free. You need to capitalize the, the, and the reason why, and you need to capitalize I, and the reason why uh, a person is stress-free is because a person did not properly organize their time management and waste and did a lot of wasting of time. Wasting time stresses a person out. So if you want to avoid stress, and if you no, if a person wants to avoid stress, then they have to organize. Uh, what they are going to do and prioritize their tasks. So organization is key in having a stress-free day and in preventing the little hiccups that come down the road of life. In the end, to have control over time and to be able to manage a person's time correctly, it is good it is essential that a person know how to organize their time, that a person knows how to uh, be punctual, that the person knows how to schedule their day, and most of all, a person knows how to prioritize their tasks. Doing all of this will help a person better control their time so a person can get things done and not waste the little time they have. This is why managing time is so important because a person does not have much time, time to themselves anyway, but if a person plans their days accordingly and follows the schedule they set out for themselves, then a person can have enough time for the most important things uh, in their lives, such as 
being with their loved ones, and of course, sleep. So here I gave you an example of how to use third person case and you replace all of your you and your with um, a person. Because when you write to your friends and family, then it's okay to use you, your, I, me, you, because that is conversational English, informal English. But when we write a paper, we want to write in informal English and to sound professional to our boss and to our teacher. So we stick to third person case, he, she, and they, and to a person. There are actually other ways to write third person case, such as you can replace everything with one, 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 or people, 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 or Americans need to better organize their time, for instance. So um, you can also name the people. Jan needs to, in other words, you could use a case study of an actual person. John Smith is always late to his meetings with his boss, Bob, because he, he never organizes. Bob never organizes his time, that sort of thing. So you can also use case studies as third person case. But in, 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 in other words, so when you do your final draft, you need to redo this entire paper and replace um, I and you with a person.